If you've been following my Axe FX3 videos, no doubt you would have seen my multi-part series where I was dialing in all the different Marshall models in there. And in one of those videos, I touched on the Atomica High model and sort of made the comment that it's one of, if not my favorite amp models in the Axe FX3. So I wanted to do a short little video showing you guys why I love this amp so much. And essentially, at the stock settings, it just sounds so good. That's why I love it. You can plug it in, touch nothing, and then for me, the IR I like to use it with is, I think it's Factory 2, number 842. It's an IR from the York Audio Bipolar Cab Pack, basically a 57 on a V30. This is an STR LJ1 guitar. I'm using pickups by Martin A. Smith. I'm gonna be on the bridge pickup. So if you fire up that IR and you fire up the Atomica High, this is what you get. <laughs> So that amp and that particular impulse just works so well together. That to me is like the bedrock of a lot of the tones that I like to use with the Axe FX3. In fact, I recorded guitars for a friend of mine recently who's just put together a really cool classic heavy metal style album and we pretty much just used the Atomica High for everything, stock settings, and it sounded really, really good. So that's what it sounds like at the stock settings. For all of these clips you're about to hear, I'm gonna be using the same IR. Well, for most of them, at the end I'll show you it with a couple of different IRs, but the Atomica High, it can do that. That to me is just such a gr straight, meaty rock tone, I really like that. It can also do plexi style tones. <laughs> And what I've done there is turn the master volume up, turn the gain down and the bass down, and crank the mids and the presence. I've also adjusted the supply sag a little bit. So that's a pretty cool vintage rock guitar kind of sound. It can also do absolutely crushing modern rectifier style tones like this. <laughs> Actually, that sounds a little bit more like a 5150 than a rectifier, but you get what I mean. It can do the gent thing, it can do the sort of crushing modern metal thing. Uh, it's super tight, it's got loads and loads of note clarity in there. I absolutely love that. It can also kind of do uh, the late 80s, early 90s hair metal kind of thing. All I've done is just turn all the controls, or all the EQ controls up to 10 anyway, and you get this. <laughs> I should say as well, I've added a pre-boost to those last two tones just to kind of tighten it up, but I do that with a high gain amp. Anyway, then if you add delay to that sound, you get this. <laughs> which is pretty sweet. What we can then do is the stock settings with a greenback impulse. So I'll play the stock settings with a V30 again, just for reference, and I'll go over to greenback. <laughs> And 
and then to the 80s style settings, also with a greenback cab. <laughs> And finally, back over to those modern settings, but this is an IR that I captured of my Mesa 212 with a Sennheiser E609. Yeah, 609, that's the cheap one. Uh, and uh, a Vintage 30, it sounds pretty slamming. <laughs> So hopefully that gives you a good idea of why I love this Atomica High model so much. What I want to do is show you uh, what it sounds like in a mix. So what I've done is I've taken that first modern sound and I've done two tracks of guitar with this guitar, uh, panned hard left and right, and then I've taken that kind of wild 80s sort of sound and also double track that. So it's a quad track with a really scooped amp and a really mid-heavy amp. The Atomica rocks, if you've got an Axe FX3 or an Axe FX2 or an AX8, Fire it up with a really nicely balanced IR and you don't have to do much to get an amazing sounding rock or metal sound. That's why I love that particular amp model and that's why I use it so much. So hopefully this converts some of you people over to check out the Atomica and use it in some of your live patches because for me it can do some of the best martial tones in there and it can also do the really thick modern metal tones as well as some of the old school sounds as well. So if you're struggling to find an app that you really love in the Axe FX3, go and check out the Atomica. I'm Leon, you guys have been awesome. If you enjoyed the video, hit subscribe and I'll see you around next time.